Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So wish all of you a very happy new year and let's start this new year with a very interesting project and that is end-to-end -end implementation of location-based surface. Okay. So there is an interesting story why I thought to start this new year with this project and that is recently I went to visit Varanasi and I needed to withdraw some money from my bank ATM. Okay. And because I was new to that particular place, I had no idea that where the nearest bank ATM is. So I looked into bank's website to find nearby ATM and it asked me to enter the zip code address, city and state informations. And once I entered the details and hit the search button, it returned me all the ATM locations near to that particular place and it was pretty fast. Okay. I was thinking that how this bank which has thousands of locations, how does it maintain this infrastructure of providing real-time search of the ATM locations. And not only this kind of banks, but there are some other businesses also which provide location-based searches. Like for example, I can show you the very popular company Gap also provide the location-based search to find out the nearby store locations. Okay, like if you just go to this particular website, I can show you. So here you will see that here it is giving you an option to enter the location and to find this gap store nearby. Okay. So here this particular option as of now working for USA only. So I will just provide an USA location and here I will search. Okay. So as soon as I am searching, see in a very fast way, it is returning us all the stores near to that particular address and here in google map also it is pointing or highlighting those locations right and it is happening pretty fast so this is also location based search surface what is working in the back end right similarly if you consider mcdonald website that also has this feature so i will show you if i just go to this particular url mcdonald.com slash us restaurant locator and here I can put any USA address, it will return us the McDonald restaurants near to that particular address. Okay, so here if I just copy this particular address and search here, see quickly it is returning us all the McDonald stores near to that particular place. So now the question is how does this work in the back end? Obviously, one thing you can understand that. All the stored locations they might have stored in a database system. But the question comes what database? Is it RDBMA system like MySQL? Because if you think that this kind of McDonald's stored locations or GAP stored locations or maybe bank ATM locations, if the company is storing in a MySQL database, then what will happen? If we are entering an address, that address should be exactly matching with the address what they have kept in the database table, right? And then only the where clause will be applied as filter condition and it will give us the certain results. But obviously it is not possible for us to enter the exact locations where the stores are. Because if we know the exact locations, we would not even search here, right? So we don't know the exact location. We are providing our locations and this kind of service, what they are doing, they are going to backend database and they are trying to find out that near to that particular address, what are the stores available? Okay, it is not necessary that what address we are entering and what address is stored in database table, they are same or they are very near or they are similar. Even nothing can be same like no zip code, no city, state information also might not match. Okay, but still our this kind of service is working and it is returning us all the locations within a particular radius, right? So how this is working? If not MySQL can solve this problem, so what kind of database can support the location based search? That is the question and that's what we are going to solve and implement today in this particular video that is location based surface. Okay. So what this kind of company does, they use geocoding to do location based search. Okay. So there are two very important points in this particular diagram displayed. Let me explain you one by one. So this orange color what you are seeing these are basically maybe for example ATM locations near to my place or McDonald's restaurants or gap stores etc etc. And what address I entered that is basically indicated with this blue color. Okay. So what this kind of company do to serve this kind of real time location based search they store the address 
of their stores or the ATMs. Along with that, they store the latitude and longitude also for that particular address. Okay. And when we enter our address to find the nearby ATMs or nearby stores, from that address, they compute the corresponding latitude and longitude. Okay. Now we are having our customer's latitude longitude and all these stores latitude longitude and other informations are stored in the database table right now with the database table latitude longitude information and our customers latitude longitude they will compute the distance okay and if the distance is belonging within a particular threshold radius maybe for example 5 kilometer 7 kilometer or 10 kilometer all those stored locations actual address from the database the api will fetch and it will display in the front end okay so there are two very important components in this kind of design. Number one is the company will enter the simple address. They don't know the latitude longitude for that particular address or the customer also don't know the latitude longitude. Customer know the address part. So we need to build a mechanism which will convert the raw address to latitude longitude. Okay. That system should help us to do this computation and that store information complete address along with latitude longitude we will store in a database table okay now the second thing is the database table should not be any simple rdbms system why i am telling just think like this way that your stores actual address along with latitude longitude is stored in a database table suppose that is mysql okay and i am a customer i have entered one address our system has computed the latitude longitude from that address okay now I have all the store locations latitude longitude in the database and I have my customers latitude longitude okay. Now to understand the distance if we just manually try to compute the distance between customers data and the stores location individually one by one then the computation will be very heavy in the MySQL or Oracle this kind of RDBMS system. So we need a database which can serve this kind of location based search by default. That is in our database table might be the latitude longitude will be stored. We will pass one latitude longitude and we will pass that we need all the rows which are coming within this much radius and our database table will have that feature by default in the backend which will do that computation of calculating the distance between customers location and the stores location and then it will return us all those ATM locations or McDonald restaurant locations which are fulfilling the criteria that is which are coming within that particular radius. So two things. One is computing the latitude longitude from actual address that we need to solve. And second thing is we need to find out one database which can help us in this kind of location based search that is based on latitude longitude and based on a certain distance it will return us all the rows which are coming within that particular radius. Okay. So these two problems our architecture need to handle. So let us try to solve these two problems step by step. So first problem what we are going to decode that is from the actual address like here how we are entering. If you see we are entering raw address right. Similarly for McDonald case here I am entering raw address. I am not entering my current location latitude longitude now. So from this kind of address how we can compute the latitude longitude. That let us try to understand first. And for that, we can use Amazon Location Service. Amazon Location Service is a location based service that developers can use to add geospatial data and location functionality to the application. So, in our application, to convert the raw address to latitude longitude, we will use this particular service. I will explain you that particular part related to the service, what is required for this project. Obviously, you can explore more from the documentation. Okay, right? So here first problem we need to understand is this conversion from address to latitude longitude and there are two places when we need this kind of thing. Number one case where we require this kind of conversion is the customer side if you think customer is entering address and in the back end the search API should convert that to latitude longitude right. So that is one place required and second place is required for example the bank is opening a new ATM somewhere or maybe the McDonald is opening a new restaurant somewhere. So they will enter just the raw address of that restaurant location. Maybe for example, landmark one, landmark two, city name, state name, country name, zip code, etc. Informations they will provide. They will also not provide latitude longitude. 
but when our architecture will store that McDonald's new restaurant or bank's new ATM location in the database, it will compute the latitude and longitude along with that, it will store the data. Okay, right? So there are two places where we need this kind of conversion of address to our latitude and longitude. Okay, so for that, we will use Amazon location based service, and there is a concept called place index resource okay so first we need to create a place index resource in amazon location based service and then once the place index resource is created we can use any sdk to convert the address to this kind of latitude longitude format okay so an amazon place index resource is a geographical search engine that you can use to search point of interest street address and geographical coordinates okay so we need to compute the geographical coordinates from our address right on amazon location you can select the data provider based for your use case when creating place index resource so when we will create this place index resource there are different data providers which help us to convert this kind of address to geospatial coordinates like latitude longitude okay so we can choose what data provider we want to use and once the resource is created we can make search request by using place api so place API we will be using Boto3 and using Boto3 we will pass our raw address and we will convert that particular raw address using place index resource to geographical coordinates and storing database and that way we will proceed. Okay. So one problem is solved by this kind of Amazon location service. So suppose for example the bank is opening a new ATM. Okay. So bank will enter the location ID name, line 1, line 2 city state country zip code etc these kind of informations but when it will be stored in our backend database it will store like this way so name it is storing same line one line two it is storing same city same state same country same zip code same here if you see that two new extra key value pair is added that is latitude longitude under the parent key geolog which is indicating geolocation that is from this kind of address our system should compute the latitude longitude okay and then here object id so object id is nothing but our location id which is basically unique identifier of our record so instead of location id we are storing that data with the key called object id that's the only difference but rest part is same i hope you can easily understand so this is how we are going to store in our database okay so that one problem we will solve using location based service now the second problem what we need to solve that is computing the distance we have our customer's latitude longitude. We have all the store's latitude longitude stored in database. Now, within a particular radius, what are the stores coming? If we try to compute row by row distance, then that will be a very heavy computation with respect to MySQL or Oracle database system. So we need a database which can help us to do this location-based search, right? And there comes Algolia, a very powerful proprietary search engine which offer this kind of search functionality that is in our Algolia database we will be having the records with latitude longitude and we will provide any random latitude longitude and some radius within which the Algolia will find out all the rows which are coming within that range by computing the latitude longitude difference with our record and with the database data and then it will return us the results pretty fast okay so this is nothing but search as a service. You can think like this way, SAS model only. So in Algolia, the functionality of GeoSearch is available. So GeoSearch is a way to filter and sort the results by distance or around a certain geographical locations. So like here you can see that to enable GeoSearch, we need to add the geolocation data to our record. So what is record? Record is nothing but our bank's actual locations, what we are going to store. Along with that, we need to store this kind of latitude, longitude, this kind of geographical data when we will store in Algolia. That's what here I have written. Okay, that is to enable GeoSearch feature, the geolocation data required in your record. Right? So, geolocation data is nothing but the parent key will be underscore geolog attribute and that will be having latitude with the key lat and longitude with the key lng property okay if it is available then we can use the geosearch api to find out all the rows which are within a particular radius so for example this is one record with one geolocation so geolog latitude longitude so for latitude longitude within a radius 
if we want to compute the locations then what we can do we can call an api in python that is index.search so what is index in algolia index is basically nothing but a database table in mysql system you can think okay so index.search here quotation open quotation close what it is indicating i will explain and then here around latitude longitude so here we need to pass the latitude longitude around which we want to find out the data points which is stored in our database and around radius here we are entering 1000 km or 7 km 10 km whatever within radius you want to find out the stores that you can pass okay and it will return you all the result sets so an empty quote what we have kept here tells algolia to retrieve all data points okay so whatever data points will satisfy this particular radius criteria what user is providing all those results algolia will return if we are providing this kind of empty query that's the simple thing as of now you can understand okay so we understood couple of points that is to get the geographical coordinates from address we will use amazon location based service that is point one and point two is to compute the distance and find out all the locations near to a particular latitude longitude what the customer is providing for that we will use algolia because algolia has this default feature of doing this location based search okay right now here another important point what i want to highlight that algolia will store this kind of data within index index is nothing but algolia table so for example the bank is opening a new atm and the front end team might have entered this kind of information okay to store in the atm database okay so location id name line one line two city state country zip code etc so using amazon location service we will compute the geolocations also and instead of location id we will keep object id so what is object id in algolia with each record in our index or in our algolia table we need to keep an object id using object id we can uniquely fetch any record or we can delete record etc so why we are keeping location id as object id for example one atm is going to be closed soon okay so when the bank will stop that atm service in that particular location we need to remove that from algolia database also right otherwise next time if a customer is searching then that particular closed atm also the result set will return right so that is a bad customer service now so what we will do we are storing the location id in the object id part and suppose we are closing one particular atm then we need to remove that particular record from our algolia database also so that it will not come in the search result right so that time to delete a particular record we can easily delete using object id okay because object id is location id we know the location id which atm we want to close so we will just pass the location id location id will be coming in the object id and it will delete that particular algolia record so this object id is kind of primary key for algolia and you can understand in our address the location id is also acting like primary key so that's why i mapped object id with location id so that only will be using for deletion purpose etc okay right so now comes the aws architecture what we are going to implement so the architecture can be shown like this way. so all this kind of location name line one line two city state country zip code etc atm locations or restaurant locations whenever mcdonald will open a new store or whenever bank will open a new atm then what they will do they will store that data in dynamodb okay then using dynamodb stream we will capture that data in lambda in lambda from those atm locations or store locations or restaurant locations using amazon location service we will compute the geographical coordinates okay and then we will store that json record in our algolia search service now here our all the atm locations are stored and now suppose here is our search front end which is like this kind of mcdonald's front end or maybe this caps front end or like in my case it was banks front end so here the user or customer can put their address that address our api using api gateway will get in the backend lambda so that address don't have latitude longitude right but to do search in algolia we need to convert that address to latitude longitude only so using amazon location service again we will convert that user's address to latitude longitude and we will make index.search in algolia okay and then we will get the result set that within this radius these are the locations and then we will send in the front end okay so this is the simple architecture what we are going to implement today in this particular video okay right so without any further delay let us directly jump into the implementation section 
here i have written all the steps one by one i will explain them so first thing is to store all the atm locations or to store all the mcdonald locations or to store all the gap locations the original company the gap or the bank or the mcdonald what they will do they will just write in a DynamoDB table. From there end, it will be a simple DynamoDB table because DynamoDB is a serverless system. It can scale up. So for these kind of advantages, I am choosing DynamoDB. And from DynamoDB, I can trigger Lambda. So in real time, from DynamoDB, as soon as data will be entered or deleted, in Algolia also, we can make that reflection, okay? So here, the DynamoDB table, what I will create, that is having the name Bank ATM Location, okay, right? So here I will go to AWS management also and then here I will create a DynamoDB table. So the bank's front-end team no need to put the record in Algolia. They will use DynamoDB table only because most of the apps use DynamoDB table. We will use Algolia for the search service alone. Okay, that's all. And to make in sync between Algolia and DynamoDB, we are using DynamoDB stream so that it will update or delete or insert in real time. So here I will create the table. And here I will give the table name this one and then here for DynamoDB table the primary key I will give the location ID okay for the bank employee or for example the McDonald employee will enter the location ID that will be treated as primary key and that will be string type okay right and then here I will create this table so this table is created now the second step is we need to enable string for this table which is obvious right so the McDonald employee or the bank employee or the gap store employee will only just update that this is the location where we newly opened the store or ATM etc. Now we need to move the data to Algolia for search service so that this particular part can work in a very fast way. So to do this real time we need to enable DynamoDB stream. So we will do that. So here our DynamoDB table is active. Here what we will do we will go to export and stream and then here we will choose the option of DynamoDB stream. So we'll just enable that. We want to pass all the new and old image. So if you want to know more detail about DynamoDB stream, you can check the link given in the description box. So here I have enabled the DynamoDB stream. Now the next part is Lambda code. Okay. So what this Lambda code is doing. So here if you see import JSON, import Boto3. These two simple imports we are doing. Why we are importing Boto3? Because here whenever bank will open a new ATM, the raw address will come here or whenever McDonald will open a new restaurant, the raw address will come here. Now we need to get the geographical coordinates from that raw address and that we can do using Amazon location service. So for that, we need to use Boto3 because to set up the integration between Lambda and the location service, we need Boto3, right? So that's why we are importing. Then here to connect in between Algolia and Python, we are using Algolia search client. Okay, so this is an API. If you want to know more about this, you can refer the documentation and then here we need to create Algolia client. Okay. So here we need to provide the app name and the API key. So whenever you will open account in Algolia, it will look like this way. Okay. So here by default, one application will be created in Algolia, which will be having this kind of unique code. So that code I am providing, which will indicate my app name and there is the API key. So that API key also here you will be getting if you just click on api key here algolia will give you the api key so here this is search only api key and this is admin key api key using admin key api key you can insert delete this kind of activity if you want to do you can use admin key api now if you observe this particular architecture here from lambda we want to insert the data in algolia right so we need to choose the option of admin api key not the search api key okay i hope you are getting it so that one only I have done and then here first you need to create an Algolia table. So that table in Algolia it is termed as index. Okay. So here what I have done for my Algolia index the name I have given dev underscore test. Okay. You can create index with any name as per your choice within your application. Okay. So here I am configuring that. So here first I have created the Algolia client for my app and then here I am creating the index. Okay. Algolia client dot init index. I am initializing the index dev test. So my Algolia table where all the ATM locations will be stored that is having the name dev test. So for that I am initializing the index. Okay. Now here I am creating the client for our AWS location based service. So if you see here in AWS here you will be having the location based service. So just you can search location and here you can see the location service. Okay. 
so here if you see that place index i told you right that we need place index and then we can use any sdk on top of it so here you can create the place index okay place index any name you can provide and then here you have to choose the data provider which will help us to convert from address to geolocation right so here you can choose any data provider and then here you can click maybe yes the result will be stored because we are going to store the result somewhere and then here you can create the place index okay so this is how you can create the place index i am leaving it as of now because here i have already created a place index having the name place test okay so here i have chosen esir as data provider so here i have chosen this particular data provider you can choose any other if you want not a problem okay and here intended use if you see here i am using this for storage purpose so that's what i have chosen the option right so here amazon location service i hope you got it now here is our actual lambda handler so this lambda will be triggered from here this will be triggered from dynamodb stream if you see it will be triggered from dynamodb stream right now here i am printing the event which is optional for debugging purpose and then here i am iterating in the record so here two if else condition i have kept if it is insert time or if it is delete time so for example bank might open atm in a new location or maybe bank might be terminating an atm service in a particular location okay so only two things possible i am considering as of now in our dynamodb table one is insert type one is delete type so if event name is insert here what i am doing from the dynamodb table the location id name the line 1 line 2 city state country zip code these kind of informations i am extracting from that dynamodb stream because these informations our company will provide in the dynamodb table for example if mcdonald is opening a new restaurant they need to enter this kind of information in dynamodb table that what is the location what is the name what is the line 1 or landmark 1 what is the landmark 2 what is the city what is the state name what is the country name what is the zip code etc okay and then here i am doing a string concatenation among all these values with comma separated and storing that concatenated string in complete address i am printing that complete address and then here i am creating the record this record will be stored in alvelia okay so here if you see that object id i am providing as location id which will be unique identifier or primary key for our alvelia index table okay and then name line one all other key value pairs i am keeping as it is only thing what we need to do to enable the location based search functionality in this dictionary we need to add the latitude longitude with underscore geolog parent key okay so for that to get the geographical coordinate from the complete address now we will use our amazon location service that is client dot search place index for text from the boto3 documentation i got this here i need to provide the place index what we created that is place text in our amazon location service we created this and then filtered country india because this project as of now i am building only for india so i am providing india as a hard coded value but if you are planning to automate this throughout the world then you need to get the country from this dynamodb you need to get the three digit code for that particular country maybe from some lookup table you can get and then you can put that value dynamically here max result 1 because for that particular address what is the geographical coordinate that only one result i want and then complete address i am providing against which it will return me the geographical coordinate okay and the response result i am capturing and this is the record i told you right that what we are going to insert in our algolia index table there i am adding one new key with underscore geolog because it is required to do this kind of geographical search in algolia and there with latitude and longitude i am inserting the data okay as simple as that i am printing the record and then here to save the data in algolia we already initialized the index right here if you see that we already initialized the index so that one only we are using here index dot save object to save the record okay and if suppose for example in dynamodb stream we are getting that the data is removed from dynamodb maybe the atm is closed or the mcdonald restaurant is closed okay so what we need to do we need to remove from algolia also so if it is removed i am getting the location id and now i told you right that in our algolia table any record you can easily get using object id so our location id is only object id so what we can do index dot delete object and then we can pass the location id so location id will be searched against the object id which will satisfy the condition 
that particular object it will delete from the index or that will delete from the Algolia table. Okay, as simple as that. So this is basically our lambda code and this lambda is basically this one. Okay, which internally our bank will be using. They will be entering the simple address and in real time in Algolia the geolocation information with the actual address will be stored. So for that the lambda is used. Okay, so what we will do? We will update this lambda in our AWS. So here I will copy this particular code and then here I will open AWS management console in a new tab and here I will save that information in lambda. Create no, sorry, not layered. Create function. So here I can choose Python 3.9 as execution environment, and here I will create the function. So here I have pasted this particular code, and here I will deploy this. Okay. So our lambda code is deployed. Now let's go to the next step. Obviously, next step will be we need to provide the DynamoDB access and Amazon Location Service access to this lambda role, and then we will add DynamoDB trigger to this lambda. Okay. So let us quickly do that. So here I will go to IAM. And then here first I will create a policy for our location. So here I will search Amazon location service. And then all location access I want to provide. Resource should be all resources as of now I am keeping. Okay and then i will go to next next algolia test so this will be our policy name and then here i will create the policy okay cool and now what i will do i will go to lambda and then here i will go to configuration general configuration sorry permission i will go and then here i will add that particular policy in this role okay so that the lambda will have no problem to do location based search. Algolia test attach the policy. So here now the location access the lambda got and now we need to do one more access that is DynamoDB. So that the DynamoDB stream trigger can work. Okay. So here I have given that. Now the next step will be here add the DynamoDB trigger. So we will add that add trigger and here I will choose DynamoDB and DynamoDB table here this is the bank ATM location that one I have chosen pack size maybe 10 I am keeping and then here I will add this one okay so here if you see that here our DynamoDB trigger with this particular lambda is added okay now the next thing is if you see here I am using Algolia Python API but this is not available in lambda environment by default right so we need to create a lambda deployment zip or lambda layer for that so now the next step is creating lambda layer it will not be deployment zip here it will be creating lambda layer so here these are the steps we will quickly follow in an ec2 instance so here i will go to aws management console and here i will launch an ec2 i'll close unnecessary windows and then here I will go to instance and then here I will go to launch instance and here demo testing one two three some name I have given I am choosing Ubuntu instance okay and maybe I will browse the Amazon machine image and here I can search so maybe this one I can choose and then here once it is chosen, key pair, I want to create a new key pair, PPK file, some random name I have given, create key pair. So here key pair is created and now what we will do, we will keep all other properties as default and here we will launch the instance. Okay. So here it is in pending state. Once it will be running state, we will be doing SSH in that and we will create lambda layer for that. Okay. And this is very much important. The reason is basically lambda is running in Linux machine. So I cannot create the lambda layer in Windows machine because it might happen that Windows compatibility and Linux compatibility are different. 
and then we need to do one more thing we need to upload that lambda layer from ec2 to s3 and using that s3 we will basically create a lambda layer right so i will just quickly create an s3 bucket also create bucket this is this is my bucket name i'll create this bucket i will save that somewhere here bucket name and to upload the content from ec2 to our s3 we need to provide the s3 access also so here i will go to roles and here i will quickly create a role for our ec2 instance so i have chosen ec2 i will go to next and here i will search for s3 maybe amazon s3 full access okay role name I'll go here test one two three and here I will create this one okay so the role is created now here I will go to EC2 I will select this one I will assign this role security modify IAM and here I will search that one and here I will update IAM now so that now the EC2 got the access for our S3 I will copy this public DNS and here I will use putty now to enter in this EC2 using SSH. So here I will do SSH. I will choose the PPK file. Yes. And because this is an Ubuntu system, we need to provide Ubuntu as login ID. Okay. So here we have logged in and now quickly I will execute all these codes. I will share all this in the description box. So no need to worry about a single line of code. The next code will be installing the virtual environment. And then here we will create a virtual environment with Algolia test. It is done. Now we will activate the virtual environment. So now we are within the virtual environment. Now what we will do? We will check the Python version. So here it is using Python 3.6, but the Lambda code what we created that is I guess in Python 3.9, right? But that will be not a problem because this Algolia API will be same for 3.6 and 3.9, so we can pass it. So here we will install pip. And then here we will upgrade pip. And then here what we will do, we will create the directory for our lambda layers, okay. So all these things already I have discussed several times. If you want to know these explanations that how to create lambda layer and all, you can check the description link. And here I am installing Algolia search python module, okay. And then here I will go to lambda directory and then here I will make the deployment zip. So for that I need to install zip and then here I will zip with the name Algolia layer 1 so here it is done and now here I will install AWS CLI so that I can upload this particular file from EC2 to s3 using aws s3 cp command okay so what is our s3 bucket what we have created that is this one right so i will copy that one so this is our simple command using which i will copy the algolia layer zip file to our s3 bucket what we created and then from there we will create the lambda layer okay
So here it is uploaded. Let's go to S3 and confirm. So this is my S3 bucket. See here, this zip file is uploaded. Okay, super. Now what we can do? We can go to Lambda layers and we can create the layer. Okay. Upload from S3, S3 link URL we need to provide. So here this is the S3 URL. And then here I will paste that here. This one I can choose. Run time should be Python 3.9. Okay, and here I will create this one. Right. So here our lambda layer is created. I will copy this ERN and then here I will go to lambda functions. This is my function what I created. I will add the layer. Specify the ERN, paste it that, and then I can click on verify. It is verified. I will add this one. Okay. Now what happened? That our this particular part setup is complete. Okay. Now we need to do this particular setup. So for that we need another lambda. So we'll do that. So here the next step. Let us see that the next step should be. We will run the DynamoDB queries to ingest data in DynamoDB table and we will see that in real time it is going to Algolia also. So if you see in DynamoDB we will enter the data using PartyQL and here see just the bank employee if a new ATM is opened or the McDonald employee if a new McDonald restaurant is opened. They are entering this simple address information in DynamoDB. Okay, they are within their AWS account only. Now what will happen using DynamoDB stream automatically in Algolia here if you see currently there is no record the record should come and that should have the latitude longitude those kind of geo coordinates also okay that way we can understand our this particular lambda is working so let's test it out so here what I will do I will go to particle editor and maybe I will delete this and here I will paste this code so here we are going to do our first testing where we are going to insert this data in DynamoDB table. Okay, so I will run this one. So here it ran successfully. I will maybe open the tables in a new tab. Here, this is our bank ATM location table, explore table items. So here, if you see in the company side, it will look like this a location ID, city, country, line one, line two, name, state, zip code, etc. So the employees need to enter only this much information. Now our lambda should have been triggered from this DynamoDB. Let's see. I will go to monitor section and I will click view logs in CloudWatch. And then here I will click here. So here if you see that this object ID it has taken with latitude longitude. Okay, line one, line two. Let me check Algolia what is happening. So here if you see in Algolia, it is showing that particular record. Okay, object ID, name, line 1, line 2, city, state, country, zip code and geolocation, it is showing the latitude longitude. Okay, perfect. So here latitude longitude coming. Now suppose a customer is there, they are entering their address. If we can convert that to latitude longitude using Algolia, we can search. Okay, but I am not sure why this many times the lambda got triggered. Might be something happened, the lambda got triggered for the same request multiple times due to some reason. But in Algolia, it will come only once. The reason is very simple. Suppose it is trying to insert one object ID which is already existing, it will override that. So if multiple times it tried to insert, then also here you will see only one record. Because once it is inserted for the same object ID, if you are trying to enter, then it will be overwritten. That will be not a big problem. Okay. So maybe I can delete this CloudWatch log and let me test for some other locations. So here it is deleted and now what I will do, I will try to insert some other location. So here the first location what I inserted, this is near North Chobis Parogona in West Bengal. Then the next location will be basically Netaji Suvas Road in Dalhousie, okay, in West Bengal. In West Bengal there is a place called Dalhousie, there these kind of locations we are entering in DynamoDB using PartyQL. So here I will paste that and here I will run. Okay. So here it entered. If I go to DynamoDB, here if I refresh, here see 
two record came. Okay, right? The recent record what we entered that is number sixteen ground floor. This one in Algolia in real time we should see instead of one record here it is showing as of now number of records one. Now we should see number of records two. Okay. So this search service is getting updated in real time due to the dynamic stream. See here number of record two. See here object ID new object ID got added with their latitude longitude. From where latitude longitude coming from the location service. Okay, right. So like that way, what I will do, I will insert some more records in our dynamic DB table. Here I am entering some location from the city Howrah, which is also in West Bengal. I will run this one. Okay, done. And then here I am entering a location from Haryana, Ambala. Okay. So that we can test later that all these are working. So here we entered and then maybe another location I am passing in Assam. So some locations are in West Bengal, some are in Assam, some are in Haryana. This kind of way it is available across India. Now when we will search, we need to get the nearest location. That way we can understand our requirement is fulfilled. Okay. So here we have entered. Now let's see in Algolia whether five records totally are available or not. So here as of now four records is showing number 16 ground floor, down floor, ground floor 535, 32. Okay. In DynamoDB, how many records are there? In DynamoDB, five records are there. So what happened to another record? Just refresh this and check. So here it is showing number of records. This much only. Let me see CloudWatch logs. So here maybe DynamoDB is taking some small amount of time. Let's see. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. Maybe batching is happening in the internal backend. Thirty-two ground floor. Three hundred. Five hundred thirty-five. This first floor record. First floor, yes, first floor I have entered. Let me just check. So up to Haryana, it came for the object IDs. And then after that, it has basically not been okay. So all these are inserts. Okay, here it is asking to sign in again. Let me just do a sign in again. So here let me just try to insert that particular record again by deleting that. Maybe while inserting some issue happen, not a problem. Explore table items and basically the Guwahati one was not able to enter. Okay. So here I will delete this item. Okay. And let me run this Guwahati insert code once. I will go to DynamoDB PartyQL or from here also I could go. Let's just test it out. So here I ran this one. Now in DynamoDB it came 
and now here in Albury also it should open it. So here you see number of records 5. Might be something happened that time that is not a problem. So here if you see here that all 5 records got inserted in our Albolia okay with the latitude longitude. Now the next step is we need to build this particular architecture. So we will do that. So maybe if I delete few items then also from Albolia it will be deleted. So that demo also let me just show you. Maybe for example this Barasat one I am deleting okay. So here I will delete the item. Barasat one deleted. Now it will again go to DynamoDB stream. From DynamoDB stream Lambda will be triggered and from there it will delete from Algolia also. So if I refresh the Algolia now, here you will see that you should be able to observe 4 records instead of 5 records. Okay. So here number of records 5 only it is showing. Why? So here 4 records came. Let me go to AWS management console. Let me go to lambda. So here ideally this particular remove event should be getting triggered. What kind of enablement we have done? Last processing result problem function called fail. Okay, here some problem is happening in DynamoDB, that's why it might be it is not working. Let me just check the role. And now let me increase to 4 minutes 3 seconds. And here in the permission section, then to be full access is there. Okay, so here if I just check now. DynamoDB table, right? So here DynamoDB stream. DynamoDB stream is enabled, right? So few type both enabled, okay. So it should work ideally. Let me just try to insert this one again. So here, if I explore table items. Here in lambda, let's see what is the status we are getting. So here, see now the function called failed option is com. I am not sure why that might be that was might be a temporary issue something what was happening. Okay, cool. Now let me just try to delete that particular item. Okay, it is deleted. Now let me refresh lambda. So here if you see now that error is not coming okay so let me just refresh Algolia and see whether four records are there or not that is Algolia delete operation is working or not so see number of records four due to some temporary issue might be in DynamoDB the trigger was not working properly that's why in Algolia it was not coming but see now it is working perfectly fine okay that data got deleted also so whenever a new ATM is open or closed in Algolia in real time it is coming now the next thing what we are going to observe is we need to do location based search. So for that this is the lambda code. Okay. This lambda is basically this one. Okay. So what we are doing here we are using Algolia API and we are creating the index client. Okay. For our dev test and then here we are creating the client for our location based service and then here we are creating our lambda handler from the user's entered address we are computing the geographical coordinates. From there we are extracting latitude longitude and then here we are doing index.search within maybe 100 kilometer area whatever records are coming that we are returning okay around radius. So I told you right that here around radius we can provide. So what the Algolia will do the Algolia will return us all the results sets within 1000 kilometer within this range. So here I want to get within 100 kilometer what are those those only I want to fetch. So that one I am extracting and returning the results set okay. So here I will copy this particular lambda code 
and then here what I will do I will create a new lambda function so this lambda function will be used by our users okay so here I will go to lambda create function and then here python 3.9 I will choose create the function so here I have pasted this particular lambda code and now we need to add the lambda layer also right so in our previous lambda also we added the layer so I will take that layer information from here only and then here I will add that layer the layer is added now for this particular lambda if you see for this one we need to provide location based service also and API gateway service also so here this lambda is there and point to be noted from API gateway the event will be triggered and in the event body we are expecting the complete address will be available what the user has entered against that address we are searching the geographical coordinate using Amazon location service and that we are using in Algolia for search operation okay so that's what what we will do now we will go to configuration section and here we will add that to 4 minute 3 second and here I will save this one and then here in the permission section I will add the location role also what we created earlier attach policy so the role name is Algolia something so here I have added that okay perfect and now pretty much it is done layer is added all things are pretty much set now we need to just create the api gateway so i will close these things and then here i will open api gateway to create a simple api i will create an http api for demo lambda function i will choose so here demo test 1 to 3 is the lambda which will search in algolia i will choose that api name something i have given i'll go to next so it should be post api and then here i'll go to next auto deploy true i'll create this api okay so this api is created post request will be made so for that i will open postman and then here we will do some search okay so create the api using api gateway is done and now we will do end-to-end -end testing so maybe for example the user is entering this kind of location Kalka Chok, New Vita, some location in Haryana okay and in our Algolia if you see that as of now there are four records right so out of four records there is only one location which is very close to Haryana so that location only it should return us not the other locations right so here if you see that I will expand all these locations so see here only this is the location which is belonging to Haryana so this result we are expecting so we will check that so first I will take the invoke URL and I will go to postman I will open a new tab I will paste this one I want to make a post request here I need to put the resource path also in our case the resource path is this one okay perfect and in the body part the users entered location we can pass maybe for example this particular one okay so let's see whether we are getting any error or not so if we are searching see here it is returning only one location okay and that location is nothing but Ambala Haryana okay but we have actually four records out of that based on this users entered location it is converting the two geographical coordinates and then it is passing to Algolia using geological search functionality of Algolia we are finding within that particular radius which is nearest one and that one only returning okay maybe for example I am searching somewhere in Guwahati some location in Guwahati okay so what should happen that this particular row should be returning which is close to Guwahati so in our case it is basically this one right so this row it should be returning so let's check that so here I will paste this one and we should see the location near to Guwahati 
see here it is returning the guwahati record only okay maybe for example i am running one location which is basically old port street dalhousie and when i entered the data that time also there we entered one data with dalhousie right so here if you see that here one record is there with the location dalhousie so this particular atm location it should be done see here line to install us that record only coming okay right so that's the beauty of this particular location based search and last testing maybe i can do on howda so in howda we have one particular atm right here if you see that this atm is there in howda so i am putting a random address from howda then it should return this one because this should be nearest see it is returning the atm of howda okay so whatever user is entering address it is going to back in the nearest atm location only it is returning and that's how we can implement any location based search service i hope you understood this and i hope the dynamo db trigger concept directly in real time how we are ingesting the data in algolia that is also clear if you want you can delete all those records delete item i can delete them and then from algolia also soon all those records should be deleted and why it should be deleted because of this particular piece of code here in the elif part we are writing that if the event is removed in dynamodb stream then this location id which is basically object id in our algolia that should be deleted also okay so that next time if the bank is stopping the atm service in that location that atm location should not come in the search service if the customer is making a search okay that's the only reason to handle the delete scenario also okay update scenario anyway will not appear either the new atm will be opened or atm will be removed okay right so see currently no record is there that means when we remove the record from dynamo db automatically in real time from algolia also it is removed okay and we are using the capability of algolia for the search functionality right this is complete serverless architecture so we'll have no problem to maintain something aws will take care of all the maintenance just for this lambdas just increase the time out little bit otherwise you might face some issues like i was facing which we discussed and then you need to do that clean up activity also if the poc is done like for example this ec2 is unnecessarily running right so i need to terminate this ec2 instance and then you might have used some roles you might created some resources so if you are doing poc then you need to make sure that those things you are terminating otherwise you might get unnecessary cost okay right so this is all for my this video i hope in this new year this new project you will find interesting just try to implement then you will have more fun and enjoy throughout the year learn new concepts i will also learn and share whatever little bit i know and if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you